Hi folks, thanks for choosing StreamingChurch.tv for your streaming video needs. My name is Phil Thompson. I'm going to show you how to set up vMix Live Encoder. Go to vMix.com. When you go there, you'll see uh, where you can download this free 60-day trial vMix Live production software. I'm not going to do it because I already did, but uh, you might be saying, Phil, once I download this and, and use it after 60 days, what's going to happen? Well, you can still use it. You'll be able to use it for free. You just won't have the uh, quite the uh, elaborate resolution system settings and maybe a couple of features missing, but uh, we think you'll like it. And then after 60 days, if you want to buy it, it's like only 60 bucks or so, and it gives you some other features and resolutions. So uh, I would strongly consider it, but try it out and see what you think. So you're going to download the file. You will run the program once you download it. vMix will do the setup wizard for you. You can extract the file. You can launch vMix. And when you do that, here's what you're going to see, the vMix live encoder. I have it on my computer here. Now you want to go down to the bottom left-hand corner and hit add input. This is where you add your cameras and you will find a list. Choose camera in this particular case. Now most of you, you you're going to have video capture devices should be listed under camera. Uh, once you choose that, I'm going to choose just, uh, I've got a webcam here so I'm going to choose that. Uh, there's an input deal here so if you have uh, devices going in through different like HDMI or, or S-Video or something, you can choose that. But uh, uh, don't worry a whole lot about that. You should be able to show it up. It should work fine. Uh, resolution is important because if you have too high a resolution, depending on the uh, the vMix version you have and the free trial you have, uh, it will let you know when you hit OK because you'll have an error message and it will say something to the effect of the resolution problem. So just go back here to resolution and you could change your resolution here and adjust it here. Once you do that, hit OK. And then we should have a, there I am, hello, here I am. I'm going to add one more camera just because I can, and I want to show you how to toggle back and forth. I'll add this camera, and I will hit OK. And there should be two cameras here. Hello, here I am. Now you can go back and forth, switch back and forth with this toggle switch here. Uh, just give you an idea how that whole thing works. And uh, you can mess around with it a little bit. Uh, but it's a nice little studio feature. And uh, one of the things I do want to say is just go to vmix.com. And they have some nice tutorials there that you can learn a lot about this. Time will not permit us to show you everything. For audio inputs, you can either add, input them if your device has them uh, on this deal. Or you can just click another add input and find audio, audio input, and uh, you are good to go. And you can also do this to add, uh, you know, videos and different things like that. So the next important question is, of course, well, how do I stream? What about my credentials? Where do I put them? Down here at the bottom where it says stream, the little box here, click the little gearbox next to it. It will open up another window. Now, I've already been messing with this, but destination is what you want to start with. Most of you will find a, it will say custom RTMP. And if you use Flash Media Live Encoder, you're very familiar with the long RTMP deal. But we're not going to do that because now all you have to do is choose us, streamingchurch.tv, from the destination. Just ignore those other guys and choose us. Use Put in your username credentials, which we've given you, and then your password. Now, if you're doing a free trial or something, you don't have credentials, just go to uh, streamingchurch.tv and chat with us about it or send us an email support at streamingchurch.tv to get your credentials uh, next thing you want to do is click login and update channels important that you do that if you when you click on that you're probably not going to see anything happening you might think nothing happened what went wrong nothing went wrong unless you clicked it and then you got an error message and then you probably have the wrong credentials or something wrong with your password that you put in Channel is going to be default. Input size. You can mess with this all you want. Uh, frame rate should be around 29.97 or 30. Uh, quality, very important. Quality settings got to be H.264. I've set my quality kind of medium, whatever, 480p, 500 kilobytes per second. AAC is the audio setting, 96 kilobytes per second. Why is this important? Because you want to make sure that whatever you're streaming at, in this case, I'm going to stream a total of 500 plus 96. What is that? Almost 600 kilobytes per second. I need to make sure that my upload speed at my internet location, my that I've got plenty of upload speed. So uh, if my upload speed is lower than this total, I'm not going to be able to stream. It's going to be a problem. Or even if it's close to this total, it could be a problem because the internet, fl internet fluctuates. You really should have double what you've got listed here. So contact your internet service provider. How do you know what your upload speed is? Just do a speed test. Speed of dot me. Or you can 
choose any other speed test deal on the web and make sure you look for the upload speed. I would take two or three tests and just make sure they're consistent. If they're way up and down as far as consistency, then you probably have a problem and you need to contact your provider, your internet provider. Here's another important thing, application. For most of you, the FM MPEG works fine and that's what you want. There are some of you that may have gotten credentials from us. The password may have a dash in it because they you know, we set up these credentials and they're generated. And uh, if it has a dash, it vMix for some reason doesn't like the password that has some kind of a dash in it. So what do you do? Well, just click the little drop down on application and hit FMLE. Life will be good if you do this. Then everything will be just fine. Uh, but most of you won't have to worry about that. Just choose the FM MPEG deal and uh, things will be good. One little footnote here. For those of you who use our basic package, we have several packages. The basic package, you can only stream at a maximum of 1,000 kilobytes per per second, one meg upload speed. So uh, if you're doing that basic package, you want to make sure that your upload speed is below that here in the quality setting. We have premium packages that you can do so much more for and so much with. Uh, so, you know, you can choose that package if you want, but we do have the basics, so we want to let you know about that. All right, what's next? Save and close. So after you hit save and close, go down here where the stream button is, the stream box, and click the button. It will turn yellow at first, and then if life is good, it should turn red. And, and there it is, it turned red, and that is good. That's actually a good thing. That means you're streaming. Go to your streamingchurch.tv platform, and you'll be able to see your video and all that good stuff, and uh, life should be good. One little note here, under here, vMix is... Uh, it gives you some readouts here, your CPU. Uh, if your CPU is really laboring, like around 80 or 90% or more, uh, you're going to have problems with your streaming video. So you can look at that down here and see that. Also, what you can look at is your status. Click that little gearbox again and hit view status. And that gives you a status of uh, kind of what's going on with your with your uh, streaming here, which is we are doing. That's, that's your viewing your logs there. You click on that, it will give you another, open up in another window somewhere else on your computer. So just these, these are just little footnotes. We hope that you like VMX. Again, if you have any uh, questions, you can shut it off by clicking it again. And yes, do that. If you have questions, support at streamingchurch.tv. Go to our website, streamingchurch.tv, and chat with us during business hours. We're also available on Sundays. We'll help you in any way we can. I'm Phil Thompson. Hope you enjoy VMX. Have a great day.